On Saturday, Norfolk State University will host one of three Senate debates between Dr. Daniel Gade and current Senator Mark Warner. It is a first for the HBCU, which recently celebrated its 85th anniversary. History, and our Kara Dixon is bringing stories throughout the week about the school's past and legacy. Today, she sat down with the university's president about the role it's playing in the community and hopefully will for years to come. It's a school that started out of humble beginnings during the Great Depression that would go on and grow into the campus you see today. So proud of that tradition of excellence and the ability to have access, affordability, and success for students. And for 85 years, that's what we've been doing and we do it extremely well. And Norfolk State President Dr. Javon Adams Gaston says they'll continue to do that for future students. She's only been here a little over a year, but NSU has already made a mark on her heart. I will tell you that the thing that drew me here and continues to be most important are the people of NSU, the excitement that they have around the tradition, around who we are, and around what they become as they are a part of NSU. So it's been wonderful. Adams Gaston says their enrollment numbers have increased with over 5,000 students, and they were recently named one of the top 20 HBCUs across the country. She says they were picked for a number of reasons, including smaller class sizes with a 16 to 1 student faculty ratio. They get that interaction with the faculty, and when you talk to alums, they talk about what that interaction meant to them and how that changed their life. Lives of alumni, she says, are changing their communities and getting involved. That's why they're looking forward to Saturday's senatorial debate on social justice and race equity. Adam Scasson says there isn't a better place it could have happened. We have really held up the banner of ensuring that there is racial equity, that there is a sense of social justice. Training up a new generation of students to follow in the footsteps of those who walked on this campus and helped make it possible for them to vote. And Adam Scasson hopes others in the community will also exercise their right. People fought for us to be able to vote. And so it is really important that everyone go out and simply V-O-T-E, vote, November 3rd. In Norfolk, I'm Kara Dixon. 10 on your side.